Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Spyro, Dragon of Time. I'm just kidding. That'd be cool, though. No, I'm not referencing those games. I have been waiting for you, Steel. This is the last episode. We finished up the Spirit Temple. And now we're going to head storm the gates of Ganondorf's castle. Steel, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six sages. And now... You have a final challenge, a showdown with the Ganondorf, the King of Evil. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk of the Sheikahs. Another exposition dump you probably already know. If you would seek the Sacred Triangle, listen well. It's like the third time we've heard about this. The resting place of the sacred triangle of the sacred realm is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. The heart of one who enters it. If an evil heart enters the realm, it will become full of evil. If pure, the, if pure, the realm will become a paradise. Yeah, I was screwing that up. The Triforce, the sacred triangle, is a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom, and courage. If the heart of the one who holds the sacred triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will gain the true Triforce to govern all. Alright, I guess this is Lord of the Rings. But if that one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts. Power, wisdom, and courage. Only one part will remain for the one who touched it, the Triforce. The part representing the force that one most believes in. If that one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. Those two parts will be held within others chosen by destiny, who will bear the Triforce mark on the back of their hands. I'm starting to go into a link to the past callback right there, but you guys ain't gonna get to hear it. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. I swear the text crawling is faster in Majora's Mask. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. I've been playing a little bit of that. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty, evil king. But his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the other two Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Steel. And the other who holds the Triforce of Wisdom is the Seventh Sage, who is destined to be the leader of them all. It's Sheik! Big mistake. It is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda, who also has a Southern Belle voice, too. I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the king of evil. Please forgive me. It's what happened when I hit puberty. On that day seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. We're going to show you the cutscene again because you haven't seen it enough. I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. Yeah, this is going to be a long one, guys. I'm sorry. I thought I should entrust the ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best chance. There's nothing wrong with explaining this, but they didn't need to show the cutscene again. At least in my opinion. As long as you hold the ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm. 
but something I could never expect happened. You woke up and fulfilled your destiny. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the Sacred Realm. Your spirit remained in the Sacred Realm, and then the trifles fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the Sacred Realm. Ganondorf had become the evil king, and the Sacred Realm became the next game in the timeline. I mean, a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate, unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. And now you're back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf will end. The six sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the sacred realm. I will then seal the door to the sacred realm for this world. Thus Ganondorf the evil king will vanish from Hyrule. Still, in order to do this, I need your courage again to protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the evil king's pants, I mean defenses. The power given to the chosen ones. The sacred arrow of light. And with that, we get one f more arrow upgrade. Those are, there's another one in the Gerudo Fortress if you're willing to test, do that optional dungeon. It'll net you the ice arrow. If you're curious. I don't know if it's any good. It's been a long time since I've ever done it. We got the light arrow. Nice. The light of justice will smite evil. But remember when I said big mistake? Yeah. You're about to learn the reason for that, kitties. That rumbling! It can't be! Shit! I should have stayed a shaker! Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. And with that, she loses oxygen and asphy asphyxiates. Oh, is it asphyxiate? Oh, the fuck, she chokes, dies. Dead. The end. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. I'm not a kid, you dickhead. I'm 28 years old. No, it was not the kid's power, I misjudged. It was the power of the controller he's using. I mean the Triforce of Courage. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, then I will become the true ruler of the world. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. You'll need 120 power stars. That has to be my worst LP ever, is the Super Mario 64. I doubt Swizzly Bubbles or anyone who knows him will come across this. But tell him about that LP. People need to see that's not how you fucking play that game. That is not how you play that game. If I regretted any LP in my LP in career, it would be Super Mario 64. Not because I hate the game, because I did such a poor fucking job. Anyways, let's storm the gates, folks. Oh, uh, well, you'll see this cutscene no matter what. The first time here. Ganon's castle. We are so close, boys. Another episode or two ought to do it. Now, there's something to the right, but we can't actually get that right now. So once you have all sages saved, still can you hear me? It's Raru the sage. We six sages will gather our power and create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf Dwarf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon's Tower, is predicted protected by all six evil condoms. Bring down the condoms and you can save Princess Zelda and and you can penetrate him with his pants, the arrows, like Zelda said. This bit isn't very funny, but I still went with it anyways. 
Anyways, Rainbow Dash creates us a bridge. A bridge of rainbows. Yeah, even though I'm not really much of a brony, I'm still going to make jokes like that. Because I'm allowed to. Freedom of speech. Motherfucker. Anyways, we get inside Ganon's castle. Anyways, welcome to Ganon's castle. We have to pass some trials, baby. As you can see, his large cylindrical shaft-like object is protected. Yeah, and trying to enter will do that. Unless you're a speedrunner, I would highly advise not running into that repeatedly, because you'll just waste time. Anyways, all these areas are supposed to be reminiscent of the... Oh shit. Of the temples you did. Very short, though. So we should be able to complete most of these this episode. It's funny. GW Fan did Majora's Mask, and I'm doing Ocarina of Time, and he isn't even watching this anymore, which is sadness. I just kicked the door open to get a blue... The door? Of course, it's not a fucking chest, it's a door. Steel, God bless America. We're gonna need that, by the way, hence why I'm turning it on now. Let's get about right here. That should be enough, I hope. Ah, no, we have a failure to launch. I'm gonna quickly whip these out and light that bitch. Be quick! Yeah, I'm not really a fan of torch puzzles, to be honest. Alright, let's turn those on and let's get these on. And let's get the hover boots on. So I'm too scared to platform. Wait, do we need this? I'm gonna do get this on just in case, too. Is there something there? No. I guess we're just gonna have to hover over it, so let's get back up the long shot. I'll take that. That's probably not the way you're supposed to do it, but whatever. Alright, let's get this one. Yeah, that was really risky, and I probably shouldn't have done that. Hey, baby. It's okay. I like that we can backflip over fucking thin air with these boots. Thank you, magic boots. Oh, I don't love the traction in them. Hmm. I wonder if there's a thing above us or something. I bet you there is. That's the light arrows, dumbass. Ah, oh, it's been a while. Maybe I should get the lens of truth out just in case. Yeah, the forest temple's kind of a confused little child. Oh wait, did we do that? I'm a bit lost, guys, so I apologize. It's been a while since I've done this. Oh wait, we hit the button and this platform appears, I think. Shit! Okay, let's hit the button, let's find out what happens. Yeah, I'm being kind of dumb right now, and I apologize for that. Uh, we just run over here, I think. Yep, we somehow fucking latch onto that for somehow, I guess. Alright, let's grab you. Let's get the hell away from you. Oh, that's what happens. Okay. You just exist out of nowhere. Silly steel. But whatever, we got through that little trial. My idiotic thinking aside. Oh, my poor... Whatever, I got through it. I wasn't thinking the best. Do you remember why you needed light arrows? Thankfully, they supply you with magic. And a green rupee, just in case you were broke. Shoot it! And you will freeze the saint. You know, you will break that part of the barrier. The forest barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, Steel! I'm not going to do voices for this. It's just too short of dialogue. Fine, fine, we'll get a move on. If there's any glitches, that's because I'm emulating it. I don't have a means to record it from a console, now do I? I have money, but that all goes towards other things that are important. Besides the occasional chance for me to spend it on something else. I think we can take these boots off. I hope so, at least. I'm gonna put this on. Mm. Nah, I don't think we'll need it yet. Let's move forward. We'll equip items as we go along. I'm half-assing it. Oh, that's just lovely. I hope you didn't stock up on stuff. Like I didn't do. 
I guess lucky me. I'm not gonna need the fairy, to be honest. I don't know how that didn't hit us. I had it just in case, you know? Dicks. You better slide away, boy. I got a long sword that pokes shit. I bet you one of these is an ice trap. I could just feel it in my bones. Yep! I fucking knew it. And I didn't listen to myself. You're an ice trap, aren't you? No, you're okay, you're safe. Oh, that's nice. At least we got that second. So our pain wasn't in vain. I don't know why the water temple's based off the ice cavern. I guess because maybe there was supposed to be more to it. Who knows? I'm gonna grab this just in case. I just got that sneaking suspicion we might need it. Oh, lovely. We have block pushing puzzles, kids. Do we need to push them into the hole? Yeah, I think we do. That corner and that one right there. Um, okay. Let's give this a shot, cut boys. Let's see if we can do it, because I see what we have to do. At least where we need to get it to. Right, let's see. Yeah, I'm not a very good puzzle buster. This is why I don't do puzzle games. And if we push it there, we can't push it left or right. And you get to see the puzzle puzzling puzzle fucking English steel. God. Well, that's not going to work now, is it? Go down the fucking hole. I did it wrong. I think I know what we were supposed to do. I think I just figured it out. Let's try this instead. Yeah, fuck me for fucking up a simple puzzle like that. God, Steel. Well, at least I didn't fumble or... Whatever, I got it now. Only took two tries. That's still pretty quick. Ooh. I don't need you. <laughs> That's nice, but I don't need it. Well, maybe you will, considering you could. I already told you guys, I'm not much of a puzzle guy. So that's all on me. Because that was a really simple puzzle. Yeah, good for steel. I think that's the last we'll need of that. Let's get our Megaton Hammer, because it just needs to make one more guest appearance. Say it with me, smashy smashy. Now that button ain't going the fuck up now. I don't know what happens when time runs out, because I've never let the time run out before. I don't even think there's a map in this dungeon either. Watch me come across one. Will you go fuck me? And smack. And stab a stab it. I'm like poke. I don't know. The water barrier is dispelled. Hurry up. Alrighty, that's two of six. Ah, it shrivels up. Now, if you want to get something really nice, head to the fire one first, which we're actually going to have to do anyways. So, God, I don't want to cut this short either. This is all the fucking dialogue. I'm sorry. This is a story-driven game, too. I want you guys to see the rest of this, but we really don't have a lot of time left, and I don't want to go over 20 minutes. So, we'll take on the rest of Ganon's castle and his tower next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time.